Greetings. On the 7th of May 2021, the next Secret Archives of the Vatican album is going to be released. It is called Carve the Runes, and several of the videos for the tracks are already on our YouTube channel. This collection of tunes is kind of a little bit different in some ways from some of our recent releases in that this was written purely for my own enjoyment and wanting to try some sounds and try some things with no thought really to where I might place the tunes, playlists or places I could share it or what people might be expecting. I just had some fun. Did a few things that were slightly new. For years and years I have gathered instruments and particularly frame drums from around the world and I've rarely recorded with them. I've never felt confident enough that the timing and quality was good enough and I also have some absolutely amazing sample libraries so if you're a music producer you'll know what I'm referring to there. However on this occasion I did actually use some of my own drums. I used my Balron, my Irish frame drum. It may not have been this one, I can't remember which one I used actually. For one of the tracks, which is called Scrailing Axe, I wanted to use something with the North American connection. And this drum was bought on a Indian reservation in Washington State in the United States many, many years ago. Um, lovely thing. I think it's buffalo skin, but really, really nice. And if you've been following Secret Archives on YouTube or on Instagram, you'll be aware that I've been very, very interested in the Tagalharpa. This was the first one I bought and I've used it on one track, I think. Very much just playing a simple two note riff because when it arrived, I hadn't learned to play it. This one doesn't sound all that amazing anyway. This Tagalharpa arrived when I was a good way through recording the album. I think this only got used on one track, once again playing a simple two or three note riff. Um, it's got a really nice bow as well. And this one sounds great. Um, so I will be doing a lot more with this as my playing improves and with whatever I do next. But as I say, I think it was only used on one track on Carve the Runes. I tried to keep a consistent theme for the track artwork across the album and then I got started on the videos and I started out kind of with the same concept but it kind of went somewhere else not least because I acquired some really good image sets to use to make short clips of video which were then uploaded to a site that puts it all together to make the full length videos with all their processing and fanciness. I'm pretty happy with the way most of them have come out. I would love to have the budget to work with proper filmmakers or animators to do really high quality videos, but I'm kind of stuck with what I can achieve with my limited resources. And I'm happy enough with what has been achieved. My musical partner Louis has not been involved in this particular album, though we've been talking a lot lately and as Covid lockdown starts to come to an end, um, he's going to be getting back involved and we are going to be doing some stuff in the not too distant future. I decided not to really do a formal marketing push with Carve the Runes. There's a lot of things you're meant to do if you're releasing something in the modern day. This was just going to be created and released and who cares what happens. However, as I've got releasing the videos, I'm actually starting to get a, a, some kind of an interesting response from quite a few people already. So maybe I am going to push it a little bit harder than I'd originally planned. What we do is so niche and non-mainstream that we're never going to see huge numbers of streams or downloads or sales, but it would be nice to achieve more than we have in the past. I think the music is good enough. I think there's people out there making music a lot crappier than ours who manage a lot more sales. I don't know. We shall see. So we will let everybody know if you're on our social media once the album is out. It's the 7th of May anyway. 
We would love it if you subscribe and follow us here on YouTube or here on Facebook, depending on where you're watching this. We're on Spotify, pretty much anywhere where you listen to music, we are already there. And as I say, we would love it if you would follow and listen and leave comments and share with your friends. Um, this is all great and helps get the music out of there. So for those of you who have supported us before and have bought our music or streamed it or shared it with friends or left comments, we thank you very much. It is genuinely very much appreciated.